Fashion Bug is a women's clothing retailer that opened in 1960 and closed in 2013. Thank you for your suggestions. It's all over. Fashion Bug's last sale of the year is all over this Friday. So you'd better hurry into Fashion Bug's all over the country for 20 to 40% savings in our entire winter fashion inventory. Let's go over what's on sale. Now through Friday, New Year's Eve, save 20 to 40% during Fashion Bug's biggest after Christmas sale ever. Save 20 to 40% on mix and match separates, dressy blouses, even tops. Save 20 to 40% on sweaters, slacks, and robes. Charming Shops was opened on September 13, 1940, under the name Charm Shops by Morris and Arthur Sidewater in Philadelphia. Mo and Artie had long talked about opening up a women's clothing store and, with borrowed money, opened up Charm Shops. The two ambitious businessmen had rough going in the beginning, bringing in only $480 in sales in the first week of business. In addition, they received a legal notice that very same week that they had to change their store's name because the name Charm was already registered. Rather than give up the business completely, the Sidewaters agreed to add ING to their name and were paid $235 to buy a new sign. The $235 put their accounts in the black for the first time. It wasn't long before the new store became a thriving business. By the end of the decade, the Sidewater brothers were discussing expansion. In order to open up and manage the new stores, Mo and Artie took on additional partners, with each partner managing his or her own store. In 1950, the Sidewaters began a lifelong business relationship with Artie's good friend, David Walks, and David's brother, Ellis. The four formed the Sidewater Walks Alliance and opened stores in Norristown, Pennsylvania and Woodbury, New Jersey. By 1960, the four partners were ready to open the first Charming Shops store in a large suburban shopping center. Sensing that suburban shopping would be the wave of the future, Sidewater and Walks felt the new stores should operate under a new name. The first fashion bug was introduced into the Black Horse Pike Shopping Center in Audubon, New Jersey that year. This sparked a period of tremendous growth for the company as they added fashion bug stores to additional eight shopping centers throughout Pennsylvania, New Jersey, and New York. In 1971, the four primary partners decided to take Charming Shops public, offering stock issues for public sale. By this time, the company had 21 stores, 18 partners, and an accelerated growth rate in sales, with further potential yet untapped. Mo had taken over the primary tasks of management and systems control, and in looking toward cost cutting, began to computerize the operations. All credit charges and payments were consolidated onto a computer system installed in the company headquarters. In addition, the company centralizes bookkeeping and credit operations on computer and centralized the fashion bug charge accounts, thus making it possible to charge merchandise in any store. The company became a pioneer in the use of computerized cash register point of sale terminals that offered direct control over inventory. By the end of the 1970s, the number of stores increased from 60 to 100, and the company again moved its headquarters to a larger location. Growth continued unabated into the 1980s, as the number of stores increased six-fold in comparison with the previous decade. The company streamlined its distribution process in order to improve the flow of merchandise. The increasing complexity associated with managing the Charming Shop's network of stores had led to a management overhaul in recent years. For its first 30 years of existence, the entire 900 store network was essentially managed by the partnership of the four brothers from two families, the Walks and the Sidewaters. By 1987, however, the company's leadership saw the need to reevaluate their management and decision-making strategy for the future. 
This involved a reorganization of the managerial hierarchy. In 1987, David Walks took over as chairman and CEO and implemented a management restructuring geared toward attracting professional managerial expertise in an attempt to recapture its core market, middle-income women aged 25 to 45, seeking a range of apparel from dresswear to sportswear. Charming's success had been largely a function of its strip mall locations, its direct control over its distribution and sourcing, and its private label credit card program. These factors remained crucial. Developers were projected to build more strip malls, and the company sourced 75% of its goods, eliminating the need for middlemen, and its credit card program promoted customer loyalty and multiple purchases. Unfortunately, Walk's ambitions never bore fruit. The year 1993 marked the beginning of a serious decline in sales for the retail industry, and Charming Shops was not immune to the economic slump. General decrease in spending on women's clothing, combined with tighter competition, resulted in a drop in the company's sales of over 18% for the first seven months of 1995. Dorit Byrne became its new president and CEO. She closed 290 of the company's most unprofitable stores. After the dust settled in February of 1996, Byrne initiated a major restructuring project. Up to that time, the company had relied on overseas sourcing for 70% of its total purchases. Byrne proposed that this proportion be reduced to 50% and redirected the company's timely fashion purchases, clothes that reflected the most current style and match that to the domestic market, allowing its merchants more time to anticipate trends and subsequently reducing the volume of unfashionable items left over in inventory. The restructuring resulted in a layoff of more than 2,500 employees and the closing of several factories overseas. Store closures continued throughout the following year with over 270 retail locations going out of business in 1996. However, while total sales continued to decline over the course of the year, sales per store actually rose 5% in 1996. Also, while total sales showed no appreciable improvement in 1997, the company did enjoy a net gain of almost $20 million, its first profit in three years. In January of 1998, Charming Shops purchased 28 stores in Texas and Louisiana from Petrick Retail. In 1999, the company completed two key acquisitions that would help ensure its role as a major player in women's large size apparel niche. The first came in July when it purchased the Modern Woman chain, comprised of 137 stores in 25 states for $10 million. In November, Charming Shops acquired Catherine Store Corporation for $150 million, bringing in an additional 436 stores. By January of 2000, Charming Shops owned 1,740 retail stores nationwide. In 1999, Charming Shops acquired the Lane Bryant chain for $335 million. In order to trade on the well-known Lane Bryant brand, Charming folded all of its store sites into the Lane Bryant domain. Fashionbug.com and Catherine's.com both redirected to LaneBryant.com, respectively. By the year 2000, Fashionbug sold budget-friendly clothes while also making a valiant attempt at being trendy. However, since this way before the fast fashion boom of the aughts, brands weren't able to churn out out-of-the-moment collections at a frequency and price points they're able to now. As such, Fashion Bug was more along the lines of Burlington Coat Factory than H&M. In 2006, there were close to 1,000 Fashion Bug stores, but by 2011, the fashion chain was down to 660. In 2012, the Asina Retail Group, Inc. acquired Charming Shops for more than $900 million. Asina wanted Charming Shops' three apparel chains, Fashion Bug, Lane Bryant, and Catherine Plus Sizes. Eventually, Asina decided to close the troubled Fashion Bug and dispose of the brand's 600 locations. 
In June of 2012, Charming Shops announced that Fashion Bug stores would be closing. The final stores closed in February of 2013. So what do you remember about this place? Leave a comment or a suggestion for a future video below. And if you haven't already, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.